taking your seats. We'll get started. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to Conard High School's 11th grade award night. My name is Jamal Hines, principal of Conard High School, and I'm very excited to be here with you tonight, in person, celebrating some of the greatest accomplishments of our kids today. It's exciting to experience tonight's energy without a buffer of a computer screen. And here to help me with my presentations are my three assistant principals, and as I call their names, please stand and wave. Mr. Tor Fisk, Ms. Jocelyn Tamborello Noble, and Mrs. Lindsay Tringale. We would, we would all like to thank you for coming, but before we get started with the actual ceremony, we'll take this time now to please rise and honor our national anthem. <laughs> So tonight, you're in for a wonderful evening where the theme is celebrating and recognizing the extraordinary work that our students have done over the course of this year. I would be remiss if I, if I did not start by thanking Ms. Meg Sosimo and Mr. Greg Schreiber, who's behind the soundboard, helping us out for their role in making tonight's event a success. To all of our award sponsors for their contributions to this evening, I thank you as well. Before I conclude though, I wanted to mention one caveat. In order to keep the awards announcements a surprise for all of our participants and to do our part to help save the environment, we will post the actual program of the evening on our website tonight at around 9 p.m. so you can check on the programs at that point in time. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Ms. Lindsay Tringali to the podium for the, for the presentation of our first set of awards. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to everyone before we even get started. So our first award recipients, um, congratulations to Jeffrey Rothborg and Jacob Morin, who were selected as this year's American Legion Boys State Representative. This is awarded to two junior boys on the basis of leadership, scholarship, sportsmanship, and interest in government. Congratulations to Thatcher Slocum and Joseph Polisi, who are this year's Conard High School winners by virtue of their score on the American Math Competition. The AMC 12 is a 25 question, 75 minute multiple choice examination in high school mathematics designed to promote the development and enhancement of problem solving skills. The exam challenges students and offers problem solving experiences beyond those provided in most upper level high school mathematics classes. Congratulations. <laughs> the 
Thatcher, don't go too far. Congratulations to Thatcher Slocum again, who has been selected as this year's recipient of the Bausch & Lomb Science Medal, which is awarded to a junior with high achievement and rigor in science courses and high PSAT and or SAT math scores. Congratulations. <laughs> Mason Capone is this year's recipient of the Bowdoin College Book Award, which is awarded to a high school junior who has demonstrated extraordinary service to the common good and an unusual passion for inquiry, discovery, and innovative thinking. Congratulations. Our next recipient is Anastasia Andrews, and she's been awarded with the Brown University Book Award, which is given to a junior who best combines a high degree of ability in English expression, both written and spoken. Congratulations. <laughs> Helen Hong is this year's recipient of the Careers in Foods PTO Award, which is awarded to a student who demonstrates a serious interest in pursuing a degree in the culinary arts or related field, possesses a high degree of knowledge and skills in the culinary arts, and has consistently demonstrated leadership in the classroom by participating in many school and community catering projects. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Jeffrey Rosborg, this year's recipient of the Chatham University Rachel Carson Healthy Planet Award, which is awarded to one deserving student who embodies the spirit of Rachel Carson and his or her dedication to sustainability and community development. Congratulations. <laughs> Madeline Campbell, this year's recipient of the Clarkson University Achievement Award. This award is given to a junior of high academic standing who demonstrates strong leadership qualities and positively impacts her high school and community. Congratulations. Avery Reicher is this year's recipient of the Clarkson University Leadership Award. This is awarded to a junior who demonstrates outstanding leadership qualities and academic promise. Congratulations, Avery. Grant Walters is this year's recipient of the Dartmouth Club Book Award, which is awarded to an outstanding junior who displays leadership and academic excellence. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Tatiana Dato, this year's recipient of the Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award in Humanities and Social Science. This award is given to a junior with outstanding achievement in the humanities and or social sciences, a demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues, leadership, and a dedication to community action. Congratulations, Tatiana. <laughs> Emily Fianza is this year's recipient of the George Eastman Young Leaders Award from the University of Rochester. This is an award that goes to a junior with strong leadership at school and in the community, high grades, challenging courses, and extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to two students, Ella Switzer, and Giancarlo Fidolfi, who are this year's recipients of the Elmira College Key Award. The Elmira Col College Key Award, sponsored by Elmira College Alumni Association, has been awarded to fine students since 1935. An award of merit, the Key Award is presented to outstanding students in their junior year of high school in recognition of their scholarship and school and community leadership. Congratulations to the two of you. Congratulations to Navpreet Singh, who is this year's recipient of the English as a Second Language Department Award. 
This is an award to an ESOL student who demonstrates excellent effort and a positive attitude. Congratulations. Congratulations to Grace Wentland, this year's recipient of the Gettysburg College Book Award. This is awarded to a junior who has achieved academically, has distinguished themselves in the study of American history, and who demonstrates a dedication to scholarship. Congratulations. Congratulations to Grant Walters and Amy Cangro, this year's recipients of the Hartford Society of Women Engineers Award. This is given to two outstanding juniors who each has three years of excellent achievement in mathematics and science and is involved in their school and community. Congratulations. Congratulations again to Thatcher Slocum, this year's recipient of the Harvard Book Award, because he is an outstanding junior who combines excellence in scholarship and high character with achievements in other fields. Congratulations. Congratulations. Cheyenne Rayalt is this year's recipient of the Health Careers PTO Award which is given to an outstanding junior or senior in the health careers program who has shown interest in pursuing a career in the healthcare field. Congratulations, Cheyenne. <laughs> Congratulations to the following four students. Ewan McKinnon, Sophia Levesque, Sophia Bavaro, and Tyler Nye for being selected as this year's recipients of the High Point University Junior Scholars Program. This is given to juniors with high academic achievement, demonstrated leadership, and involvement in extracurricular activities. Congratulations. Congratulations to Emma Oburn, this year's recipient of Connecticut Junior Science and Humanities Award. This is given to a student honored as a participant in the Connecticut Junior Science and Humanities Symposium, preferably a student who has completed an independent research project. Congratulations, Emma. Grace Wentland is this year's recipient of the uh, Mimi Hostetter European History Book Award. Mimi Hostetter started teaching social studies in West Hartford in the 1960s. She was an integral part of the Conard community for almost 30 years until she retired in 2009. In her capacity as a history teacher, advisor to the student council and mock trial team, and a mentor for many students, Mimi's enthusiasm for history and dedication to Conard students was evident. Mimi loved teaching ancient history, particularly Greece and Rome, and modern European history. She often led students in independent studies and encouraged them to follow their intellectual passions. This award, in her honor, goes to a junior student of European history and or the classics who exhibits the traits that Mimi Hostetter values in her work and her life which include a love of European history and or the classics, intellectual curiosity, and substantial contributions to the Conard community. Congratulations, Grace. <laughs> Congratulations to Greer Baumgartner, this year's recipient of the LaSalle University Book Award. This is an award given to a junior with demonstrated academic achievement and active participation in extracurricular activities. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Cecilia Gruber, this year's recipient of the Oberlin College Book Award for Achievement in Social Justice. This is given to one exceptional student in the junior class who has shown commitment to activism in our high school and our local community. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Sophie Thompson, this year's recipient of the Princeton Association of Central Connecticut Award. This is given to a junior with high honor roll standing and a commitment to learning beyond class requirements, good character, 
community service outside of school, and an outstanding contribution to school extracurricular activities. Congratulations. Now please help me to welcome Assistant Principal Jocelyn Tamborello noble Good evening and congratulations to all the award recipients this evening. This year's recipients of the Princeton Association of Central Connecticut Award goes to a junior with a high honor roll standing and a commitment to learning beyond class requirements, good character, community service outside of school, an outstanding contribution to some school extracurricular activity. Would the following students please come up? Serena Roach. <laughs> Sophia Pinsens. Georgia Cohen. Shane Maloney. Leah Nichols. Joyce Chen. Stephen Mack. <laughs> Noah Plamenden. <laughs> Juan Palomino. <laughs> Tegan DePippo. <laughs> Noah Bergio. Kayla Resnitsky. <laughs> Michelle Silarak. <laughs> Rachel Perot. <laughs> Lasia Kuratori. Amanda Hungerford. <laughs> Sharon Deep Kaur. <laughs> Ellery Tarasuk. <laughs> Nina Bushinsky. <laughs> Sydney Miranda. Diana Gagliardi. Garrison Lemke. Jackson Moorhart. Joe Lynn Lynn. Mary Leonard. Abigail Craig. Megan Murphy. Ayana Carson. Brody DuPont. Lola Rolinger. Andrew Parody.
Maya McCreese. Anissa Mohammed. Gabriela Nobun. Grace Meltz. Congratulations to all the recipients of the Principal Scholar Award. At this point, I'd like to invite Assistant Principal Tor Fisk to come up. Good evening, everyone. By special instruction, I've been asked to read these two names first. Connor Mangini and Sharon Deep Kaur. Congratulations to Joseph Polisi, this year's recipient of the Rensselaer Medal, to a junior in the top 10% of the class who excels in advanced math and science courses, demonstrates potential for success in a challenging academic setting, and is involved in extracurricular activities. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Jaden Borla and Gabrielle Longman. This year's recipients of the Rochester Institute of Technology Computing Medal to a male and female junior in the top 10% of the class who have demonstrated leadership in school and or community activities and an interest and ability in the field of computing. Congratulations. Congratulations to Noah Kaufman Adsit and Marlena Pegalo, this year's recipients of the Rochester Institute of Technology, Innovation, and Creativity Award to a male and female junior in the top 10% of the class who are involved students in their school and or community and have demonstrated outstanding achievement in innovation, creativity, or entrepreneurship. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Emma O'Byrne, this year's recipient of the St. Anselm College Book Award, to a junior who has demonstrated academic success and exceptional leadership qualities in the area of civic engagement, possesses strong character, and plans on continued education. Congratulations. Congratulations to Ethan Kramer and Audrey Perkutis, this year's recipients of the St. Michael's College Book Award, to a female and male junior who are inductees of the National Honor Society or equivalent honors organization, and who have demonstrated a sustained and sincere commitment to community service activities through school or community organizations. Congratulations. Congratulations to Angela Donwan, this year's recipient of the Smith College Club Book Award, to an outstanding junior girl on the basics of academic achievement, leadership qualities, and concern for others. Congratulations. Congratulations to Jeffrey Rosberg, this year's recipient of the Spanish Teachers Award, to a junior or senior for whom Spanish is not her or his first language, who has shown an extraordinary interest in and enthusiasm for learning Spanish, 
has achieved strong language skills, particularly speaking, and who has also shown a genuine interest in Spanish culture by making it a part of her or his everyday life. Congratulations. Congratulations to Allison Colburn, this year's recipient of the Springfield College Book Award, to a junior who has demonstrated an exemplary record of service to the school and community at large. Congratulations. Congratulations to Ava Peterson, this year's recipient of the St. Lawrence University Book Award. In recognition of the value that the St. Lawrence community places on service to others, the St. Lawrence Book Award honors high school juniors who have distinguished themselves in their commitment communities by their significant commitment to community service. Congratulations. Congratulations to Charlotte Wilson, this year's recipient of the Suffolk University Book Award, to a student who exemplifies a commitment to their education and school community. Congratulations. Congratulations to Bethany Kim, this year's recipient of the Trinity Club of Hartford Book Award to an outstanding junior for scholastic standing and service to the school. Congratulations. Congratulations to Maggie Gillis, this year's recipient of the University of Virginia Jefferson Book Award to a junior who best represents the Jeffersonian ideals of scholarship, leadership, and citizenship. Congratulations. Congratulations to Connor Lafferty, this year's recipient of the Vassar College Book Award, to an outstanding junior who demonstrates intellectual honesty curiosity, and excellence in scholarship. Congratulations. Congratulations to Molly Kyle and Reeve Cunningham, this year's recipients of the Wells College 21st Century Leadership Award, to two students who are top academic performers and have the passion and integrity needed to become successful leaders. Congratulations. Congratulations to Macy McPhee, this year's recipient of the Wesleyan University Book Award to a, a junior who excels at a rigorous course of study that includes courses at the most advanced level, demonstrates independent thought and creative thinking, and shows extracurricular and or community involvement, leadership, or commitment to the arts. Congratulations. Congratulations to Mason Capone, Caitlin Tchaikowski and Jeffrey Rosberg, this year's recipients of the Woodfield Memorial Scholarship Award. Ashley Delia Woodfield, class of 2005, was always trying to make a difference no matter how small or great. As a junior, she was recognized on the national level for her outstanding personal, school, and community achievements, and on the regional level for her boundless compassion and education of others. Her natural generosity, spontaneous energy, and ability to articulate her heart's desire made her an exceptional human being. This award, in her honor, goes to juniors who best emulate her passion and actively demonstrates a genuine concern and compassion for others. Congratulations. Congratulations to Elizabeth Zare this year's recipient of the Worcester Polytechnic Institute STEM Leadership Book Award, 
to a female member of the junior class who demonstrates exceptional academic achievement in the fields of science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. Congratulations. Congratulations to Reed Morrow, this year's recipient of the Xerox Award for Innovation and in Information Technology. To a junior with a high level of achievement and a strong interest in innovation and or information technology. Congratulations. Congratulations to Noah White, this year's recipient of the Yale Book Award, to a junior who has achieved academically and has demonstrated qualities of leadership, effective teamwork, and organizational abilities through participation in extracurricular activities in school or the community. Congratulations. Congratulations to Ava Nigro and Kyle Barnum, this year's recipient of the Michaels Jewelers Citizenship Recognition Award, to one male and one female junior who combine scholarship, positive social behavior, and involvement in school-sponsored activities that have benefited other students and the community. Congratulations. To close, please welcome back Principal Jamal Hines. Let's give all of our recipients another round of applause. <laughs> well, that concludes our ceremony for this evening. Thank you all for coming out. Have a wonderful evening. Take care. Thank you. <laughs>